Hey, hey people, Theo here, and I'm back with more Ultra Kill. In the last episode, I fought through a level that took a shit ton out of me. And today we're going forward, and as you can see, I went to settings and checked stuff out. And yes, you can make it so that your weapon is in the middle. Ooh. That's a pretty big jump. Let me real quick just find out. No, I thought there would be a secret there. But there ain't. Ah, scorching hot sand. What else can be here? I wonder. Sorry about that if you heard it. Um. No. There we go. Gotta go down. Checkpoint. Claire the I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. But real quick, let's check backwards. Okay, so I can't actually go through here. I thought that I could. I need to be careful on that. Come on. You have ten health. Hello, brother. You got a new arm, I see. Oh shit. Oh well. Come on! Okay, no, fuck you. Bastard. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you bastard. God damn it. Okay. Oh, 
bastard. Where are you going? Okay. Where are you? Oh, bitch. There we go. The slide is fun. We. Well, brother, I guess it's the end. Hold R to throw. Release pull. Oh. Fuck. Yes, bird. Already dead. Now, a bit of hard damage when you used on enemies cannot reduce HP, but risky to use a little help. What? What is Whiplash? Oh, that's such a bummer though that you can't use your normal objects. Mm -hmm. Which is boss gate in under 18 seconds. <coughs> okay. Let's read. Also, Stalker, I haven't read about these ones. What's the husk? Data as the greed lives punishment. Stalkers have been forced to carry heavy boulders up the monuments of mankind's greed for all eternity. They have carried out their punishment for so long that their bodies have evolved, warp, and grown to better suit it. Their limbs have twisted to give them better, better balance while carrying boulders on their backs and their skin and muscles have completely dried up, allowing them to survive direct contact with the demons of gold dust that greed sun has raised to unfathomably high temperatures. However, an unidentified sentient force has replaced the boulders they would normally carry with high-tech bombs that upon detonation will transform any nearby blood into gold dust sand that covers the layer's surface. Research has shown the technology to be very similar to the augmentations of the modified strays known as soldiers, so it, so it is likely both modifications came from the same source. Lights on the to give information on the stalker's state. The color shows the state of the explosive and the brightness of the color shows how much health the stalker has left. It's advisable to forcibly detonate the stalker rather than allowing one to detonate itself, as the latter explosion will have a larger rear larger area of effect. The stalker gets close to its target and can no longer be pushed away. A ground sun wave can launch them out of range so they can be detonated safely in midair, since the explosion is mostly horizontal. Attacking magnets to the attaching magnets to the stalker will reduce the radius of the detonation. Oh, also this. Insurrectionist, Supreme Husk. The Sisyphean insurrectionists were an army of husks gathered 
and trained by King Sisyphus, who over for overthrowing heaven's control of hell, freeing the sinners from the eternal torment. During an era of chaos on, in heaven, as an angelic watch was absent, Sisyphus began setting his plan into motion and his foes recruited all husks that were intelligent enough to be useful to their cause and began attacking the demons that wandered the dunes of greed. Upon the establishment of the council and subsequent return of peace to heaven, Gabriel and an army of angels were sent down to crush the insurrection and subject, subjugate Sisyphus's army. Uh, although the battle was well fought and the inexperienced insurrectionists could not match the educated strategy of the angels, uh, who quickly descended upon King Sisyphus, Sisyphus with great force, eventually overpowering and killing him, leaving the insurrectionists without the chain of command. Uh, left scattered and disoriented, the warriors were easily picked off one by one, the bodies cut apart, leaving behind only the bare essentials required to carry out on the eternal punishment of hauling heavy boulders out the monument monuments of mankind's arrogance and greed. Although the blood of the enemies still stains the bodies and, gra and the grasp still clutches fallen foes, their will and fierce fury only serve and only serve Oh, I didn't notice! It's actually the demon! Okay. Uh, clutches their fallen foes, their will and fierce fury only serve as mental torment in knowing how close they were to freedom. The Sisyphean insurrectionists soak their feet in the blood of the enemies to protect them from the heat of the Greed's dunes, but the rest of the body is still skin and flesh, which can be set aflame to greatly weaken their defenses, increases the damage of any attack dealt to them. Though they have practically unlimited range, each of the insurrectionists' swings has strengths and weaknesses. Learning which way to dodge to avoid each attack is vital. And so the instructions stomp is fast and destructive, so it's inadvisable to stay close for long. The malicious face they wield as weapon is not part of the body, so hitting it will not deal damage to the insurrectionists. But this also means that it can still be used to heal even if its wielder's blood has been turned to sand. Okay. V2 2. <laughs> okay, I like that. V2 second, type supreme machine. After his defeat and escape, V2 dove deeper into hell, killing other machines for their blood to help his recovery with the intent of taking revenge on V1 and recovering its original arm. After finding a temporary replacement from one of its victims, V2 used parts for other machines to transform the new placeholder arm into a mobility tool that would allow it to catch up to V1's fast descent into deeper levels, into the deeper levels. In order to pre prepare for the second and final encounter, it researched the combat data from the previous battle to copy strategies and techniques from the older and more experienced V1 to give itself an upper hand. However, despite all this, all its preparation, V2 lost again, and unable to escape this time, was brought to a swift and decisive end by its predecessor. Yeah, the research really helped it. It became weaker. <laughs> I think it, I killed it in less tries than when I was fighting the first time. Although V2's coins may seem extremely dangerous at first, they are also an excellent opportunity for high damage if shot before V2 can. V2's nail gun can be circumvented or turned against itself via magnets. Hitting V2 with its own arm will cause it to enrage instantly. Nice. What is this? Oh. I guess that's a secret. Right? Mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Ooh, hook points. Like the slingshot. We Yeah, still can't do any of that. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, 
what is this place? Oh! In the wake of possession. Wait, is this... This is the level where it's like, don't touch any water, right? That's a challenge is. Whiplash does not build up hard damage while underwater. Go nuts, have fun. Okay. I can stay indefinitely in. Well, almost indefinitely. In the air. Shut, come on. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Hey, I see a secret. Okay, which way do I go? I guess this. So there is... that okay Again. Okay, so you can't. I was hoping that you could.
Okay. What are you reached? Is this going to be a thing down here? Yup. Sorry about that. My neck and lungs are kind of fucked right now, as you can hear. Huh. I'm taking medicine, but it's not really getting that much better. And me making videos is not really helping. We okay. What are you? Oh, this bastard. Hello. Oh, three is too much. For the reason. Bastard. 
Yum, yum. Two. Come up. Are you bastard? Okay, dead. Finally. Let's go. Where am I going now? What's up here? Interrupted Sentinels, Knuckle Blaster, and Armor, Real Cannon, Ground, Sound, Shockwave, Revolver to, the an Revolver to the Antenna. Okay. What else? Where is it? Ah, here it is. There we go, next level. Time is horrible. But as to be expected. S, nice. I just want to get an S on the kills, at least. Oh, I didn't find all. Don't touch any water. How the fuck? <laughs> okay. What? A, what was that bastard? What was this? A sentry type greater machine. One of the many war machines created during the final war, although there were attempts to find new purpose for them during the new piece, their streamlined design made them unable to be repurposed until the start of the Hell Expeditions. Their extremely powerful legs and feet allowed them to dig into the ground, making them immovable by most forces and allowing them to easily line up and shoot without interruption. Despite their size, they were built to be extremely light, which, when combined with the power of their legs, allows them to move at extremely fast speeds. Such power and lightness made their legs one of the most sought-after parts by scrap heads. Most machines will only render a simplified approximation of their visual surroundings for faster processing speed, 
but sentries use full renders instead, giving them perfect accuracy even over extremely long distances. Due to their powerful legs, once they dug, they've dug into the ground to aim, they can no longer move. Once they, once dug in, the only way to interrupt the attacks attack are shooting them with the electric rail cannon, hitting their antenna with a revolver, launching them with the ground slam wave, or punching them with the knuckle blaster. Blaster. As long as they haven't dug in, their light weight makes them easy to launch and keep in the air where they are harmless. A good way to disable a sentry for a long period of time is to shoot nails into them with the nail gun and then replace the magnet into a nearby wall or ceiling, which will pull them once they've been knocked off balance. Okay. And also, I didn't read about this arm. Whiplash. Uh, a winch with a spear, hold to throw, pull to release, can pull light enemies uh, and items, will get pulled to heavy enemies and grapple points. Okay. But uh, that's looks, that looks like it's going to be it for today's episode. So, without further ado, you. goodbye, hope to see you in the next one. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and hope you have a great rest of the day. Ciao!